guys my Artsy Black collection is huge bigger than the country of China fellas I am so rich the bags under my eyes are Gucci and now for my Biden Wait, what was I doing? Ah, I have fun with you guys. <laughs> now onto the video. Okay, first we're going to start with uh, paper and then we'll move on to painting supplies and miscellaneous. So the first thing I got is a type of toned paper. I've never actually drawn on toned paper before. I know that seems kind of ridiculous, but I got this one. And I bought a set of watercolors, so I also got both hot press and cold press paper. And also, since I am very into manga, I actually ordered real deleter manga paper. Up next is this little thing is stationary. I got super cheap. Um, I was gonna give it as a gift, but I guess I'm not going to, uh, unless, if I can use it. This is some decorative papers. I'm not sure what I can do with them, but I'll figure out something. And this is just carbon paper. I used to know what to do with this, but uh, I don't remember anymore, so I'll figure out what to do with that. Next, on to the painting supplies. So first off, we have this set of brushes. That I'm very excited about. I put one or two extras in there just for, for fun. And there's a couple more brushes I got. These are more for the Bob Ross styles of painting. These are just a cheap small brush set for finer work and smaller sketchbooks. These I'm really excited to try. I've never tried these kinds of brush pens, uh, the water that you fill with water and paint with. So I got kind of a variety pack. Um, as well as another one of these, you can always use more of these. And now on to the paints. I got this uh, pretty affordable, Artist Loft is always like the cheapest thing you can get at Michael's, but I found that they're actually pretty good. I haven't tried the oil yet, set yet, but I will soon. Next up is something I'm very excited about, is Holbein watercolors. I was so excited about it that I didn't uh, decide to film um, my actual, oh, it's taped, the making of my palette, but I'll let you look inside. Yeah, they kind of got out of order a little bit, but these are like fancy people watercolors, even though I've not really done much with it. So as you can see, I made my own palette and swatched it. I need to use the water to fix that. And then I got a little spray bottle to make reactivation. Oh, shoot, there's water in that. Ah! To make um, the reactivation of the paints easier. Next. It's a 35 piece acrylic set. I've painted with acrylics before, um, probably before I discovered any other art medium besides charcoal and pencil. But this looks a little more fancy. So I was excited. I always love sets like these. I'm, I'm a sucker for that. I will buy up your store if you just have pretty little sets like these. Now on to more of the drawing things. Let's start with my charcoal set. Uh, I have some charcoals that I use, um, usually some of the stick kind and maybe like a four set of pencils, but this has all the different softnesses and maybe I can 
learn a bit more about shading and hues and gradients uh, using this set. Next, this is just a prompt book that I'm looking forward to maybe doing a challenge of some sort, maybe to make myself draw more. This is a fancy little gadget I got off Wish. It's apparently an electric eraser. So it's kind of like a zero eraser, but you vibrate it and it's uh, like finely vibrates the small little area uh, so that you don't have to like go back and forth with it. So I guess it can get some really fine details and highlights. This set was a gift, uh, Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. Obviously I've never used them, uh, but I think now that I'm more into exploring watercolors, I will try these. This is actually a gift from my friend in France, so these are legitimate <laughs> French art supplies from actual France. These are just ordinary pens. And this is for drawing on the deleter paper you saw earlier. This kind of non-photo pencil is used for drawing like sketches before you ink your manga so that they don't actually show up when you photocopy them or scan them into the computer. So I was excited to try that. Next. This was also a gift from my dear friend Marcus. Uh, I have not been able to use this either, but it comes, he got some calligraphy paper with it and I think that one I already had. But I can practice my penmanship and that'll be fun. Now on to the miscellaneous category. These I got super cheap on sale at Michael's. I think these are usually like 20 plus dollars, but I think I got them in the clearance bin for like 8 to 13 bucks. And there's so many things you can do with pigment powders and micas, and I think I'll probably make a set of pearlescent watercolors with these once I learn how to do that, but let me know if you want to see that in another video. This is just a trashy eBay purchase. Um, it's a nail art kit where it comes with some like stamps that you can stamp on your nails. I have a feeling it's not gonna work properly, but hey, what do I know? Maybe, maybe it'll be great. I'll test them out one of these days when I decide to actually care about my appearance and go out and stuff, but nobody's going out right now, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, here is the one I'm super excited about. My Arteza watercolor brush pens, and I got some sketchbooks to go with them. I do plan a review for this very soon, uh, maybe this week actually, but they are so pretty. Just look at all the colors that come inside. I'll do an unboxing video of that uh, and a swatch with my new sketchbooks because I'm so anxious to start these. And now to, I got this, this was another gift. This was a great big diamond painting, probably bigger than I can handle. I've never done one of these before and I didn't want the smallest set but this is a Leonid Afromov painting. He was actually my favorite living painter, but I, I found out he died back last fall, I think, in 2019. And I was so bummed. So, you know, if you can get his prints for an affordable price, now's the time uh, before they go skyrocketing high because he can't make any more. And then I got a great big Arteza cutting board. It's kind of not the color that it showed it would be. It was gonna be, 
it was supposed to be like a dark gray closer to black or at least that's how it was photographed in the website but it's very pale gray but that's okay i can use it anyway and last but not least my pride and joy i'm gonna take you over there my wacom tablet and it is the paper edition and the large look how big that thing is so i'm so excited on it about it the special thing about the paper edition is that you can you can use this pen and draw on paper and whatever is whatever you draw with this pen actually shows up digitally and for someone who is not good at digital art um focus camera anyway for someone who is not good at digital art this is a great kind of transition period kind of like riding a a bike with training wheels so it gives us the paper and the nibs and all that are for the tablet themselves are in there but i'm just so excited to use these because i used to have this old school bamboo tablet that was really rough and did not the the line quality was very low uh, so yes now i will give you my workspace tour i'll be back in a moment okay guys so i'm going to take you on a tour of my workspace uh it's going to be a little basic because we just moved in recently so i uh, here you go So we'll start at the back. So this is just some stuff from school. Uh, this is where I'm gonna keep my sketchbooks and my portfolio and little things that I work on. I don't think there's any crafts in those drawers. That's just old CDs and stuff from high school. Maybe some photographs. Uh, up here is my Lisa Frank stuff. A cute little thing I made, and the rest of my old notebooks and diaries and such. And this is going to be where I edit my videos. And here so far is just paint palettes, uh, my oils, and my X-Acto knife set. Underneath that is my pastels and my pigments. Uh, I have some doodle paper back there, some Sharpies and glue sticks, and I think there's some vellum paper underneath. Yeah, Bristol. And here's where I'm going to keep some of my bigger sets because it's a deeper drawer. So I think I have my calligraphy, my charcoal, my new acrylic set, and my, um, my calligraphy drawing pieces. And here's just general junk, my USB cables, some extra cheap palette knives and paintbrushes. That's a french fry squishy. I'm going to do a craft with him at some point. Over here we have a pretty blank wall, um, which I do plan to fill with art. This is my sewing machine, which I have yet to learn to use. Over here is mostly just some stuff. There's some papers, some carbon papers. These are miscellaneous scrapbooking materials, some Sharpies, things to make boards, some tracing paper and black paper. I think there's like little gemstones in this old box that I made. I'm pretty sure at vacation Bible school when I was very young. Here is my glitter, um, my Instax picture taker. If I could just think of the word camera, I wouldn't look so dumb on camera. Uh, ignore the killing stocking thing, I'll make a video about that at some point. Uh, cute little envelopes and shiny cardstock and things to seal envelopes with. 
This is just old art from me or people that have made art for me. This is just 80% junk from my childhood. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is unused regular notebooks, which I apparently have a ton. I think I have a problem. And over here is unused um, sketchbooks. That goes over there. And here is old stuff that's like filled, uh, old planners, which I used to draw in a lot and I don't like to part with them. That's just a froggy bowl I made. And over here we have the actual setup. I just bought this desk off of next door for like 50 bucks, but I think it's very nice. It's, it's huge. It's hard to tell how huge it is but like here's my hand and it just goes for days. It's 67 inches long, so that tells you a lot. And the L is just the shoddy desk I did my original filming on. Yeah, see here's the poo from last video and some Arteza things. So this is the tripod I use. I think it's a Geekgo. Um, I will put it in the description box below. And then I also have two of these lights from Rileno or Rayeno, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And they were really cheap too. I think the two, the set of the two was 60 bucks on Amazon. That's just a light that I use as a hat rack. That's just a jewelry box with my wedding bouquet on it. Oh yeah, me and my mom made this cute little rug when I was really young and I will probably keep it forever. And now into the closet, which it's not a very big one, but at least it has a light. Um, over here we have just cute little things that I've drawn or painted. Down in here is a, a bunch of little, mostly kid crafts. We have things like scratch off rainbow paper. I'm so excited to try Pokemon origami again. <laughs> uh, now that all my crafts are all in one place, I can do so much with it. This is just a piece of my broken china, which is sad, but maybe I can make a mosaic out of it. That sort of thing. Yarn, string, fun stuff. Um, this is a bag of yarn. Um, that I've, I've only ever tried knitting once and it didn't turn out very well. This is poster board, uh, canvases, my easels in here. On this shelf, uh, this is my inking set, um, ink sticks that were passed on to me. This is mostly old stuff cheap paintbrushes, some needlepoint, some makeup stuff that I'm probably going to recycle and use as watercolors, some duct tape, the box for the camera I use, some my box of cute little nerd merchandise for anime. This, there's nothing actually in this yet, but it's one of those, as Kondo says, joy sparking items. This is one of my favorite things I got when I was young as a present. And I used to make these constantly, these little bead creatures. Here is my spray paint. Um, my masks and all that. I, I use these like lids as for planets. And here's my regular paint set. So it's mostly cheap. That's why I got the nicer because set. These old artist lofts are falling apart. I have some Bob Ross gesso things. This is my SeaWorld towel. Um, so down here, 
we just have, I think, another set of oil that's been opened. It's probably toast. What's in here? If I could just open it. Oh, more oils. Okay, I might use this as a like a travel tin at some point. It's really cute. I got this in France. And in here, I think it's just more glitter. Oh, no, I was wrong. I have Sculpey. I was making little Phantom of the Opera necklaces. Yep, that's just straight glitter. What's in this one? Um, looks like paint. Paint some paintbrushes. That is just old kids crafts. Uh, I don't think there's anything of value in here. Probably not. Yeah, we got some feathers, we got some sand, some beads, some iron-on things. Nope, nothing of use at this juncture. Here I have my Stay Wet palette. It's pretty dried, so it, it's not forever wet like it claims. This is some lava soap that you use to clean your brushes with. Uh, that's just, these are containers for holding water. I have some Mod Podge and glue. Uh, this is just a little organizer, but I haven't filled it yet. That's more kids crafts. Things like Christmas and pom-poms and necklace and bracelet making, and that's my big old tablet, my old bamboo tablet, and my big old diamond painting. So yep, um, oh I forgot about this. Uh, my little owl here is holding my wedding veil, and um, I don't believe, I don't remember making it. I assume somebody else made it for me in college. I don't think I have the, the knitting slash crocheting skills to make one of these. But yeah, that concludes my art space tour. Hey guys, I hope you all enjoyed my art space tour. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, my lovelies.